Today I'm creating another look using Victoria Beckham's Kajal eyeliners. But before I begin, I'm just going in with my moisturizer. This is the Hydrolux Moisturizer by Youngblood and also the Eye Impact Eye Cream. Just really wanting to prep my base before we go in with the foundation. This is the Mineral Primer as well. So I'm pressing that in. And in between these layers, I am allowing it to settle in and set into my face before going in with the foundation. Now today I'm going to go a little bit darker with my look. So I am going to use the Revlon Colorstay. This is the um, matte. It's number 310. And it also has an SPF of 10, which is awesome. So this is my heavier coverage foundation. And it helps to coverage, cover all my rosacea, rosy cheeks, and pigmentation. So because this look is going to be quite smoky, I thought we really need to have a heavier base on today so I'm making sure that I go um, over my eyelids as well over my nose and my ears and my decolletage as well so just getting rid of any redness through there this is the Emco Beauty contour wand now Victoria Beckham really contours her face in a similar manner um, I don't contour my nose that much I've actually broke it as a child and have had it rebroken however it's still quite bent underneath you can't see it so I find contouring it quite difficult because I end up making it look more bent than it is. So just be very careful when you're contouring your nose. So just framing my face with this. And I will go in later with a powder product to really deepen that contour and create more definition. This is just a really nice flush of a, it's like more of a burgundy color on the cheeks. And I just swept that through my lips as well, just to start off with. Now, in order to prep my eyelids, I'm using the MAC Paint Pot. This is in Painterly. This is such a great shade. It's very neutral and it's perfect. This helps your eyeshadow stay really long. And it's just a great way to prime the eyes. Going in with the Emco Beauty, this is the Brow Set and Fix. Using the um, set first and just placing a little bit of color on my brows. Making sure they're a little bit darker because this look is darker. I sort of tend to use do my brows either light or dark depending on what makeup look I'm going for. So if it is a little bit more dramatic, I also make my brows just a little bit darker as well. Just using a very light sh shade just to really enhance underneath the brow there. It is a powder. This powder is from the MAC Semi Sweet Nines palette. Now instead of going in with a contour shade that Victoria Beckham normally does, this is a real plum shade. So similar way that she does it by really carving out that contour, but I'm using a plum shade of um, eyeshadow and really running it along the bottom lash line as well. Now you'll notice I'm swapping between the brushes. So I'm using one brush, a detailed brush to place the product, and I'm using another brush to blend it out. This is my blending brush, and I always keep my blending bl brush sorry, clean. So I never dip that into a product. So I use this one to place it, and then I use this brush to blend it out and I really want that diffused look so I'm pushing it right into that eye socket but then up into that brow bone a little bit adding a little bit more as we go so you may find you want to build this so little by little don't just rush in with a dark color and it really diffuses out and gives that really nice soft outer look now here is the Kajal eyeliner this one is cocoa so this is the darker of the two that I purchased the other day I did cinnamon so this is cocoa and once again it does look like I've created a bit of a mess but they are so creamy so you just place them all over your mobile lid and then using another brush just really buff it out and you can just buff it right into that lash line and right up into your contour crease there I've just added a little bit more into that lash line once again on the other eye same thing just just sort of working that color right up to the crease and then buffing it out with a brush so you do feel like you're starting to make a bit of a mess, but just really bear with it, trust the process and just keep going. And you'll find with another brush, you can blend that out. And it's just such an easy way to get a really quick, dramatic look. I'm just buffing it out a little bit more. Now I'm going to go in with that same shade that I used in the beginning. Oh, sorry. <laughs> First of all, I'm popping it on my tight line. Yeah, right on the tight line and underneath my lash line there. Sorry, jumped the gum there a little bit. And then I'm just blending that out. Now I'm going in with that same color that I used in the beginning with a smaller blending brush and really placing it into that crease and then getting the bigger brush to really fan that out and create a nice diffused outer edge. Same in the other eye, just placing it into that crease just so that we can soften that edge that we created with that Kajal liner. 
and then blending it right out with the fluffy blending brush and also underneath the eye line as well. This is the MCO Beauty Highlight Wand. It's like a um, concealer and I'm just placing in all the places where I feel I need a little bit more lift. Now when I run this under the eye, I do try not to go too close to where I've done the eyeshadow because I don't want to get rid of that diffused look. This just helps clean up under the eye, gets rid of any fallout. It's a bit of a lazy way to do that. And also just gives it a bit of a lift as well. I'm going to use my bigger brush here just to diffuse that shade out and a little bit around the nose, always a little bit red through there, the chin. Now with your fluffy brush, just go in and just make sure you haven't got any harsh lines there. I'm setting it straight away under my eyes with this, the medium rice setting powder and just down my T-zone. Now I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the airbrush bronzer and this is a number three. I normally use number two, but I thought I really wanted a defined look. And I've just noticed on my eye there that I have a little bit of shadow that's gone up. Just fix that. Go back in and blending out my contour. Once again, I'm using a bit of powder down my nose and I'm being quite careful, almost hesitant here because I don't want to make my nose look cro crooked when it's not. So fanning over, it's a little bit of Plumberry blush. This is a loose blush by Youngblood. And I'm going to use this blush also just in that brow bone area just to create a really soft blend. So subtle, but it really looks like you're a blending pro. Sweeping my lashes with the Prime Lash Mascara by Promatics. This one's in black. It's really good, it helps to coat those lashes really well, nice and individual. Now I'm going in with my lips. I don't do a lot with my lips, it's not really my thing. So if I do want to make them a little bit bigger, I start off with the Cupid's Bow and I really line it just a bit fuller just through the middle of the Cupid's Bow. I don't overline the outside of my lips. Same with the bottom of my lip, I overline that ever so slightly, but then come up and just meet my normal lip line. This is Plum, um, it's a lip liner by Youngblood, and I'm going to fill my lips in with a St. Renee's Lip and Cheek Tint in Toco. So there you have the final look, another Kajal eyeliner, smoky eye.